Hi, this is Lil Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Fallout 2 Blind. I've just arrived at the den, so let's talk with everyone. I just wanted to die. Okay, that's a great introduction to this place, I guess. I can't take this much longer. I ache all over. So I guess those are... Ah, you see, you're reliant. So they are... Uh, drug addicts. <laughs> I'm starting to get the shakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, withdrawal syndrome. My head. Okay, there's a notice board. So let's read that. Den Bulletin. Maintained by Rebecca's Casino Bar. Best drinks in the den. Someone has scribbled something on the side of this post. Uh, Becky's a whore and her drinks are watered down. She's a crook and a liar. The writing is barely legible. Okay. Slavers Guild. Man, that's kind of... Like, that's... Obviously, slavery is disgusting whichever way you slice it. But for me, it's even more disgusting to... Uh, sort of advertise it as a legitimate business. The slavers have a guild in this town. Which is horrifying. Uh, I might actually kill them all. Like, th there are a few things that disgust me as much as slavery. Uh, so, I don't think there's any justification for slavery in whatever circumstances. Like, I could entertain a discussion on, for example, killing people. I think uh, even outside self-defense, there are, there are instances in which I would maybe not justify, but I would understand the reasons for killing another person, but slavery is one of those, those things that I don't think you even can entertain a discussion on. Like, mm, there is, to my mind, no reasonable argument for enslaving other people. Uh, but let's read about the Slaver's Guild. The Slaver Guild, Slaver's Guild is the best and only supplier of the slaves in the wastes. Mm. For employment opportunities, buying or selling slaves, see Master Slave Metzger. No, Slave Master Metzger. Uh, obviously, save, Slave Master and Master Slave are probably two different things. Hmm. I might actually buy a couple of slaves and then set them free. I hope the game will give me the option. Obviously, I don't want to own a slave, but I would like to stop slavery in this part of mm, the, the waste. Uh, so maybe I can buy them and offer them their freedom. Uh, alternatively, I guess I can slaughter all of the slavers later on when I'm strong enough uh, and then free the slaves. Special note. And there are current, they are currently not selling slaves to the general public due to increased demand. Mm, okay, so I guess I, I won't be buying any slaves, which it, it's in itself disturbing that there's an increased demand for slaves. The Slaver's Guild is located on the east side of town, past Becky's and Frankie's. Okay. Uh, bars and gambling. Two are listed. Rebecca's Casino Bar. Rebecca's Casino Bar has both gambling and great affordable drinks. Directions. We are located just east of here. We are the first building on the, re on the left as you enter town. Be sure to come by and say hello. What about Frankie's? Frankie runs a bar, an inn, and a pleasure business on the east side of town. Uh, and... Oh, I guess it says directions here already. Mm, what about dining? Mums is the only restaurant in the den. She's located on the east side of town, just south of the Slaver's Guild. Okay, what about shops? There are three posts. Tubbies? Uh, Tabby uh, sells all sorts of items, but primary chems and ammo. Mm, Tabby is located west of this bulletin board. It's the first building on the right as you enter town. Flicks? Flick sells, very, so, sells various items out of his office in the residential building, directly south from here and right below Rebecca's casino bar. And Smithy? Smithy is a local mechanic. Mm, he sometimes has things for sale. Smithy is located in the junkyard on the southwest corner of the town. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. So how, how do I quit this conversation?
There's seemingly no option to do that. Okay. Mm, let's continue. I need some more. Okay, this is Becky's. And this is Tubby's. Now, he's supposed to sell ammo, which I am very interested in. So, I will visit him. Tubby's not very nice. Tubby sells bad things, uh, which is drugs, right? I wonder if he sells drugs to children as well. I hope not, but to be honest, I can't be certain. You see a camera lion. Hey, you're a real nice guy. Anyone ever tell you that? I can't feel my legs. Tubby's our buddy. We're Tubby's guards. Okay. Hello, sir, and welcome to Tubby's. I am the proprietor. May I help you? Yes, I need some information. What would you like to know? Who's in charge in this town? No one, I'm afraid. The den is an anarchistic place where kind of, where, ki where a kind of Darwinian struggle is played out. Only the strongest, fastest, or smartest will survive here. I'm sure you will find your niche. Uh, thanks. Uh, why is everyone selling chems? Well, presumably because it's, uh, uh, you know, it earns them a lot of money. But still, that's not the kind of information I would just give away to everyone. Um, I'm not interested in paying for that. Uh, for now, like I don't have a quest to find anything about the drug business, and I'm not that uh, wealthy. Not not that wealthy. So I would like to ask about something else then. Do you know where the vault is located? I have heard of a place called Vault City, but unfortunately I can't help you with directions. You see, very few towns uh, can offer acceptable exchange for the medical services they provide, so most, most of us have never been there. Okay, interesting. Uh, I would like to barter, after all. What do you have to sell? No, oh, you have a desert eagle, but I'm not strong enough to use that, right? How, how much does it require? Hmm, why doesn't it tell me? SMG. Why, why doesn't it tell me the strength requirement? Like, w without learning that, I'm not, I'm not about to buy it. Okay, it's a moot point because I can't afford it anyway. I guess I will just buy some regular bullets for my pistol that I'm using at the moment. Mm. Okay. Let's sell most of my stuff. I will keep one of the pieces of meat to, to maybe give to someone who's starving or... Okay, I think I will sell the Radaway and the Radex because they are very expensive and I think it's, you know, it's probably going to be some time before I wander into, into a seriously irradiated area in which I would seriously need it. Uh, and for now I can exchange it for other goods and services that might be more, uh, you know, might be more needed in the moment. So I, I'll buy some... Uh, armor piercing ammo as well just in case mm. <laughs> it's they're they're pretty expensive i guess maybe i want a stim pack instead Okay, let's trade. That's a good trade, I do agree. Uh, uh, those bullets should last me for a bit, at the very least. Okay, so let's see that Becky's place. Now, Rebecca won't let me play her games. Have you met Rebecca? I wish she was my mom. 
This is Rebecca's place. Okay, so it's a casino. You see a woman with sharp eye and a business attitude. Place your bets. We have another roller. Points on, on zero on 4 0 odds. What? Uh, this is roulette, right? I don't... I don't want to bet on that. To be honest, at most I guess I can play slots or something, if they have it. Because uh, that doesn't require actual analytical skills to, 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 to bet prudently. It's just a game of chance. Uh, another, another payday lost for good. Nothing like good drinks and good company. Okay, again, not interested in betting on roulette. Uh, sorry, Becky doesn't want us disturbing the customers. Why, hello. Nice to see a new face around here. My name is Lean. How are you? Care to sit down? Great. How are things with you? Oh, very good. Thanks for asking. Becky has such an interesting family history. Do you have one yourself? Uh, yeah, my uh, my ancestor supposedly saved the world from someone called the Master, which is uh, <laughs> it's probably um, she's probably not going to believe that because it sounds very um, like boastful and borderline insane to say, but it's actually true. Out of those two formulations, I I prefer this one because I don't like introducing myself as the chosen one. That's I don't think of myself as the chosen one. How interesting. That reminds me of a story I heard long time ago. Something about a master. Really, what was it? Well, it might take a bit. Be a gentleman and buy me a drink, would you? Uh, not whiskey, though. New Coca-Cola, please. Eh, sure. Five bucks, I, I can do that. Thanks. Now let's see. I remember my mom telling me about that huge migration that happened 70 or was it 80 years ago. Really big mutants with weapons, as tall as you and me, came from the south. Mom said it looked like a big migration of some sort. How many? I don't know, but they were mo there were multiple groups of them. Some would continue north, others headed east. No one knew where they were going. Uh, they were quite upset and seemed to be fleeing from something. Uh, yeah, there were also others in dirty tattered purple robes. They kept babbling about how the master was dead. Okay, so that's the... that's the... what's the word? Uh, Children of the Cathedral from Fallout 1. And basically this is the story of what happened after master's death. So I guess it finally clears up the timeline. Uh, Fallout 1 was 80 years ago, which again, it's sort of concrete evidence to me that this game's whole premise is kind of bullshit. Because they wouldn't defy the the, the the vault dweller in 80 years. Like, to be honest, people can live for 80 years. So if some somebody was a child back when vault dweller founded Arroyo, uh, they could still live and remember him in person. And at most, I guess their children can live. Uh, so... It's weird to me how there's this whole cult of uh, treating the Vault Dweller as some kind of a divine figure. There was a literal shrine to him in Arroyo, and it was only eight years ago. Like, I don't find it believable at all, because even if we ad assume that uh, the, the tribals are all illiterate, which clearly I am not, I can read, so presumably I can write as well, uh, so, so they, they would have written something down, or the Vault Dweller could have written something down for them to keep as a, you know, as a reminder of his travels and whatnot. Uh, but even if we assumed that all they have is oral tradition, that's still only, what, one or two generations removed from the Vault Dweller himself. So it's, it's improbable to me that there would be such a legend uh, around him, because people would still clearly remember the exact specifics of his life and what kind of person he was. Uh, he, he wouldn't be some kind of a half-god. So I don't buy that plot element, and it's kind of weird. Uh, interesting. Some of them even committed suicide right here in town. So? 
Well, don't you see? They were talking about the master, the one your ancestor killed. Mm, thanks for the story. I, my pleasure. Bye. Uh, Lian has told you her story about the master. You gained 350 experience points. Okay, so that was that was surely worth it. I got 350 XP for basically five caps. Uh, hi there, this is Rebecca. Uh, can I get you something to drink? I'm sure you're thirsty after your trip through the wastes. Mm, I'm looking for a merchant named Vic. Yeah, I know Vic. A medser got, got, got him locked up. I'm not sure why though. Oh, so he has been captured by slavers, which is not great. I have another question. Do you have any work? Mm, Fred owes me 200 bucks. If you can collect it somehow, we'll work something out. What's the catch? Catch? Oh well, if, I, if, I, if, if you knew Fred, you would understand. He owed me the money for quite a long time. I'd written it, it, I, I, I had written it, I had written it off as a loss, but if you can get it back, I would be amazed and grateful. He's somewhere in the town, I'm sure. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Let's continue. I think I'm going to puke. Well, I should probably save, because I keep opening those doors to random buildings and someone might get eventually angry and shoot me or something. You see a gangster. You must be here to see Lara. You must be here to see Lara, okay. Who's Lara? Well, I presume she's their leader, but what exactly is it that, that they do? The name is Lara. I run this gang. You better not be here to cause trouble, or you're in for a world of hurt. Got any work? Well, that depends on what you're good at. There's something I'm curious about. If you can find out, I'll pay you a bit. Sure, what's that? Well, there's a church east of here. Metzger has got some people guarding whatever it is inside. Find out what, and I'll pay you 200 bucks. Okay, I'll think about it. Thanks. Don't get in a fight yet. I have a plan. Okay. Uh, as much as I am not a fan of organized crime, obviously, uh, I think if they oppose the slavers, then they are still the lesser evil. Like, I would much rather deal with drug dealers, for example, uh, than with slavers. Get out of my face. Go away. Hey man, I'm Joey. What are you doing on my turf? Uh, your turf? Oh, I'm looking for some information. What do you want? What's the deal with the old church and those guards? Oh, you mean Tyler and his gang? They guard some sort of shit that comes in from Vault City. Big fucking crates. One in, once in a while you see them get picked up by caravans heading to New Reno. Can I ask you more about them? What do you want to know? Who's Tyler? Tyler is just some weasel who screwed all the rest of us out of a sweet deal with Metzger, but fuck that shit. I don't fucking care anymore. I could kick his fucking ass though. Lara and him uh, still have some really bad blood. Something about Tyler and his brother. That could be useful. Uh, where's New Reno? New Reno is down south a long way, then east some. There's a lot of action to be made there, but it's pretty fucking dangerous too. I might head back someday. Here, I can show you where it is on that fancy screen thing of yours. Okay, I, can, I think I can find it now. Uh, so, what are they guarding? Hell if I know. Okay, something else? Uh, what do you want? Have you ever heard of Vault 13? Vault, the Vault, Vault 13. Nope, never heard of it. Don't tell me they've come up with uh, another new chem. Nothing can beat Jet. No, it's a place. Uh, what do you want? Uh, okay, actually nothing else, I guess. So, let's continue going through the buildings. We need a fix. This is Flick's shop. Need some more. I ache all over. Don't mind me. 
actually this place is kind of horrifying like disregarding all the slavers because obviously that's uh, that's horrif that's probably the most horrifying thing there's a literal slavers guild in this town it's full of people who are addicted to drugs and uh, you know basically dying in the streets by the dozens or maybe hundreds uh, and you know begging for a fix like i'm technically speaking i am for decriminalize decrim decriminalizing most of drugs but even if they were dr legal i would probably not take them like i don't think it's a particularly good idea my uh, my approval for making them legal is mostly based on principles of you being able to screw up your own life if you really want but obviously it's complicated uh, uh, if you if you take poland as a as an example because we have a public health service so obviously it's all intertwined because if you screw up your own life then all the other people uh, have to you know pay for your medical treatment which i don't think is fair which is a good good enough reason for keeping drugs illegal uh, in a system such as ours but theoretically speaking if the um, you know if there was some kind of a major change and the health ser health service would end up privatized then theoretically speaking i would be in favor of making drugs legal but i think i still would think at the same time that taking them is not such a great idea and i myself would still not be interested okay let's talk with this guy hey there i'm flick what the fuck do you want huh uh i'm looking for a vault Oh yeah, and some trader named Vic too. Do you know where they might be? A uh, vault, huh? Maybe Mama knows about that, because I don't. But that Vic guy, him I know. The Metzger got that porca... What? Porca pistola. Uh, so... What does that mean? Well, I, I know he means he has got Vic, but what's up with the porca pistola like does that mean something about pigs and what does what do, what do pistols have to do with any of that I'm not quite sure uh, who's Metzger uh, but Metzger he's a real he, uh, he's a real rum people that one runs the slavers guild east side of town just north of Mamas. anyhow he's got Vic I know uh, thanks. Now, now about Mama. Uh, Mama runs a food place over in the east side of town, just past the graveyard. Nice place. She's got good pasta. Mama Mia. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, something else? Uh, what the hell is it that you do out here? I'm a fucking provider. What do you think? I'm like a good, uh, like, uh, like I'm like a good samurai itan guy. Okay. Say what? I provide for them little peasants. What? You provide little pianos? Uh, pay san o. Oh, damn it. Uh, pay san o. You know, the kids. Uh, my kids. Your kids? Yeah, well, they work for me. They bring me things. Little things, you know. So he employs kids as uh, as messengers, maybe, and also possi possibly, maybe, also as drug dealers. Like as uh, you know, as mm, mm, he gives them drugs to then supply to other people is what I mean. Uh, okay, what do you have to sell? Oh, a lot of bullets, apparently. But I don't have that much to barter with. But it's good to remember that he says sells bullets as well. I will keep that in mind for later. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Well, I don't want to cramp your style. Goodbye. 
Okay, let's be on my way. Uh, Mysteries of the Netherworld revealed. The educational opportunity of a lifetime. Come on, come on. What's up with that? Uh, hello, welcome, salutations. I am Great Ananias. He offers you a slight bow with a flourish. I bring mysteries from near and far, friend. Mysteries from a world beyond our own. The netherworld. Mm, what kind of mysteries? I know things that mere mortal men were not meant to know. Nyarloth. Uh, oh, sorry. I, that's a... That's a... That's a Lovecraft reference, right? He, he was starting to name one of the Great Old Ones, I think? Uh, got a little carried away there for a moment. I have tales of a ghost that haunts these very grounds, as well as genuine Egyptian mummy that you can see. He write this in this marvelous sarcophagus. Um, uh, I've... I... Mm, tell me about the mummy. I'm just dying to hear more about that. No, my friend, a mummy. Straight from a sands of ancient Egypt to the sands of the waste. It looks exclusively for you to see. Okay, I'll bite. How much to see that wizened corpse? For a person of your obvious class, I would be happy to show this unique and historic specimen to you for a mere for a mere 25 bucks. Okay, I don't think it's worth it, but I still want to do it on a slight chance something interesting will come out of it. Because I think this is a scam, most likely. But but sure, let's let's be scammed. Okay, I'll cough up the dough. Now show me the mummy. Simply open the sarcophagus li lid and the marvelous mummy will be revealed in all of its ancient glory to you. But please, no touching and no flash photography. Great. There you go, the mummy. The door to the sarcophagus swings open to reveal a desiccated corpse that looks very much like an ordinary ghoul, standing in a poorly painted, chopped up and cracked paper mache sarcophagus. Paper mache sarcophagus, really? They couldn't really, they couldn't even afford to create a real one. Uh, uh, that's a mummy. I can't believe I just paid 25 bucks to see a six foot hunk, uh, six foot hunk of jerky. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, okay, let's get scammed again with the other one. Uh, what kind of mysteries? I've just got to hear that ghost story. Do I get a new? Uh, do, do I get a nice, hot, nice hot cup of cocoa to go with it? Well, you see, he motions you closer. There was once a great queen that ruled over the surrounding town. She kept her throne by virtue of a special amulet that she kept at her neck at all times. Great stuff, huh? Uh. Yeah, you bet. So the princess had a magic amulet. Go on. I just can't stand this level of suspense uh, for much longer. Yawn. Well, I'll cut to the chase then. The evil wizard poisoned the young princess and took her amulet. She has been wandering around the, the room next door ever since. Well, uh, that is just at the witching hour anyway. That's why I keep the door locked. Pretty darn scary, huh? The ghost of an amuletless princess in the trashed room next door. That's it? I can't believe you're peddling that as a story. I'd rather hear about that stupid mummy you're supposed to have here. Uh, okay, but I've heard that already, actually. So I've seen, seen enough corpses already. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, you do. You, you have some alcohol to sell. But I don't want to buy that. Although, actually, actually, can I get in there? Because if I can, maybe I can ask Sulik. Like there's, because Sulik supposedly communicates with ghosts, right? There's like an off chance, uh, a very small chance that there's actually a ghost here. Uh, hey Sulik, are you coming? He seems to he seems to be kind of confused. Hmm, what's a shovel?
Hey Sulik, it would be nice if you, you know, joined me. Okay, I think he's coming. So what you be needing? Uh, can you consult the spirits from for me? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? What do you what do they tell you about this place? Grampy Bones say this place full of bad people. Yeah, I kind of gathered that already. Thanks. What you be needing? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? Uh, what do they tell you about our chances? They say people get lost here real easy. In many ways. Okay. What you be needing? Well, then I guess there's there's probably not a ghost here. Uh, or or if there is, he doesn't know anything about that. Oh, the Brotherhood of Steel. This symbol, uh, this is the symbol of the Brotherhood of Steel. This marker tells the wasteland that is it is their area and to leave immediately. You see a man in metal armor. Hello, Trevor. Uh, well, you've certainly come a long way from the simple tribesmen. You should visit our new California Republic office sometime. You might find it rewarding. Now, if you'll excuse me... Wait, how does he know my name already? Wait. Hello again. I have nothing more to say to you. Uh, there is nothing for you in the... You see a door with no visible handle or lock. Okay, so I'm not getting in there for now, I guess, is the point. Uh... Okay, and there's like a scrapyard uh, in here. Oh, it's a it's a car uh, junkyard. Oh, damn it! Didn't want to touch that. The car does not appear to be functional. Still, it looks to be in better shape than the other cars in the area. Maybe this one can be fixed. Hmm, interesting. I I have a car part that I found in Klamath. Hello there, young fella. What can old Smithy do for you? I was just wondering. What do you do here? Mostly I just keep watch over the, the old junk. Only, only got one thing worth, worth Diddly Squad. What's that? Why, it's none other than this Chrysalis Motors Highwayman. They used to say that nothing can stop a Highwayman. They sure build them tough, I'll tell you that. Wow, does it run? If it ran, uh, do you think I'd be shitting in this shithole of a town? Uh, I guess not. Well then, again, maybe I would too. I got all comfortable here. Okay. I wouldn't mind say selling the car though. If someone brought me the battery... No, strike that. I guess I would need a fuel cell controller. Yeah, if I had one of them, I would sell the car for 2000 bucks. Even install the controller so it would run straight. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I'll have to come back if I ever found a fuel, fuel cell controller. Let me ask you about something else. Uh, okay, can you tell me where I can find one? I was wondering about that car you have for sale. Mm, that, uh, that's right, here's the deal. You give me 2000 bucks and I will sell you the car. Heck, I'll even install the fuel cell controller for you. Sounds uh, should run good as new. I'll even charge it up with some extra microfusion power cells. Okay. But where do I find? Do you have any idea where I could find that part? What do you do here? Uh, blah blah blah. I asked that already. Have anything to sell? So I have a uh, something else, some other car part. Wait, did I sell it? What? No. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What? 
what happened? Okay, I'm seriously... I, I had a car part from... from Klamath? Where is it? Did I sell it? I, I certainly wasn't intending to sell it. But it's here. You see a fuel cell regulator. Yeah, some car owners installed this regulator that doubles your car's mileage between charges. Okay. So what, what? I'm pretty sure it wasn't there when I reload. When you know when I talked with him. So what happened? Did he steal it? Okay, let's talk with this guy again. Just, just if it's a pre pre prerequisite for something. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty weird overall. I will say that. Hmm. Oh, wait. And now I even have a dialogue option to mention that. So what happened with it last time? Not sure. Say, old timer, I have this thing here that I picked up in Klamath. Let old Smithy take a look at it. Sure, here it is. Hmm, that looks like a fuel, fuel cell regulator. If I had a car that ran, I'd sure improve the mileage on it. Huh? Well, you see, I've got this car, a Chrysalis Motor Highwayman. She's a beauty, too. They used to say nothing can stop a highwayman. Built tough, that's what they were. Yeah, so what's got what's that got to do with me? Well, a lot, a lot, and not so much at the same time, huh? What I'm saying is that having a regulator is nice, but you need to find a fuel cell controller first. Why is that? Because if you had a controller and two thousand bucks, I could fix this car that I got here, and you could drive it around in style. Really? Where can I find a fuel cell controller? Now that's a silly question. Do you think if I knew that, then I would be driving... Uh, do you think... Don't you think if I knew that, I'd be driving around in the car? Uh, well, I guess I will have to look for one of those. Uh, be a good idea. If you ever find one, just come back here with it. Oh, and don't, don't forget that 2000 bucks. Okay. Uh, I asked all of that already, right? Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened last time, but I do have it now, so let's save and be on my way uh, with it. Mm. Okay, so, so the only way to progress is here. I think I'm going to puke. Mm, you a friend of Frankie? Uh, Frankie's drinks are expensive, so I hear. Don't bother me. I'm scoping for nice looking chicks. <laughs> Good luck, you'll need it. Oh, shanks. Uh, you see a customer, bottoms up. Hey, it'll cost you more if you've got an audience with you. Ah, okay, so so this is the brothel. Uh, I'm not interested, actually. Uh, I like the hole better than Becky's. I'm Frankie, and you're standing in the hole. West damn bar for a hundred miles. Everyone crawls in the hole when it's time to get to let loose. Now, don't you be causing too much trouble, you hear? I hear ya. Uh, what's your pleasure? Info, mostly. Information I do not have. I thought bartenders knew everything. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Uh, what about women? Mm, go talk to Sheila. Hey, Sheila, you've got a customer. 
Uh, well, I don't actually want to purchase sex. I mostly want to talk. Although there's there's a slight chance that, that that there's a quest linked with sleeping with the prostitutes, like maybe I can get get a post-apocalyptic STD and there's a quest to cure myself later on or something, or maybe I can get help them get out of this profession. Because the problem with prostitution, is, again, I am pretty much in favor of legalizing prostitution, uh, mm, but obviously the problem with prostitution is that. A lot of women, a lot of people, uh, period, that get into this profession don't really do it out of their free choice. Like, they are basically coerced, if not by force, uh, by other people, then at least by their economic background. Like, they, they, they feel it's their only choice, uh, which is obviously sad and, uh, you know, and potentially kind of disturbing. But generally speaking, I would say that adult people should have an option to uh, you know sell their bodies if they want to and there's a demand for that and there's always going to be a demand for that uh, so th there should be uh, rob robust laws in place to protect you know people getting forced to do that or people getting extorted out of the money they earn doing that but i don't think a prostitution in itself should be illegal in fact, I think legalizing it and giving it some kind of a, like, uh, you know, some kind of a legal framework might, might actually improve the the lives of the people that are involved in this. Because obviously, uh, <laughs> you, you, you could have, you know, um, you could you could have inspections to like check if if the people are safe, you know, if they if they are not getting hurt or something. Uh, you you could also the, 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 presumably there would be health checks as well to make sure that people that uh, you know provide those kind of services are not spreading STDs, as I said, uh, and all that. So yeah, but I'm not 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 interested myself much as as with drugs like. Uh, th there are there are there are plenty of things that I think should be legal uh, on principle, but I personally am still not interested in trying them out. Okay, that's a crapper. A crude but effective toilet. There are some leaves dropped into the, to the hole to manage the odor. Okay. Oh, and I guess this is the church that they mentioned, right? Hmm. And also a graveyard next door. Tyler is the man to talk to, not me. What the hell do you want? And who the hell are you? Well, Metzger has actually not sent me. But I might learn some important info if I bullshit them that he did. Metzger sent me. What the hell for? His stuff is not going anywhere. Uh, he wanted me to check it for him. Sure he did. I'd never seen you around before. Now beat it. Uh. Look, he had me come into town just to inspect his damn stuff. I could care less. Uh, fuck it, just go in. The, does he think he's just going to... Up and... No, does he think it's just going to up and leave? Uh, who the hell would want that shit anyhow? You managed to fast talk your way inside the church. You gain 500 experience points. Okay. Uh, who's going to try and steal this crap? Don't waste your time. Uh, we've checked this stuff a million times over. This job is a cakewalk. Don't waste your time. Okay, so what is that? You see a box. But, but a box of what exactly? Presumably I can't take it, but maybe I can still check it. You see crates filled with various chemicals that are no, of no use for you. Ah, so presumably ingredients to make drugs? Okay. Let's 
uh, check the graveyard. Maybe there are some funny epitaphs on the tombs. Uh, stop, wait. Okay, go ahead. What? Oh, can you feel the power? Leave me alone. I'm starting to get the shakes. Okay. Uh, this headstone reads, Fergus Urquhart I made just one damn list too many. Mrs. Tamara Winslow. Anna Winslow. Miss Christopher Winslow. Ed Highland. He told the world to suck it. Mm. David Handy, the loudest among the dead. May, may, he, le may he rest in peace, quietly. Uh, the headstone reads, Dennis Personnel. We can almost hear him now. You could call that a funeral? That sucked. You guys are assholes. I'm never dying again. Blah blah blah. Scratched below it says, uh, God rest crying D. Should have kept on the patch. What? I have no idea what that second part means. Mm, there are no markings on this headstone. Gary Platner killed for not making the Vault Citizens models. No, for not making more Vault Citizens models. What? You have no again no idea what that means. Like, is that a reference to the developer? Is that a joke on the fact that maybe all of the Vault Citizens were very similar or something? Uh, not quite sure. Uh, here lies an atheist, all dressed up and no place to go. Uh, T.D. Hamilton. Here lies a stank hoe that should have been dead a long time ago. Rest in hell, bitch. Robert Callier, silent, deadly Rob. I was someone who is no business of yours. Uh, the, the name of, on the headstone reads John Doe. Okay. Don't piss Metzger off. Ah, this is the Slaver's Guild. Okay, I will check that. But first, I guess let's check this. Uh, I'm going to open my own restaurant someday. This is Mama's Diner, right? You see a town person. Oh, hi. Why the glum face? Oh, nothing really. Just sometimes I get thinking about my mum and a cat. I miss them very much. A cat? Yeah, cuddles. She was a sweet cat. I really don't feel like talking about it. Well, unless you would buy me a drink. That might help. Sure. I hear they used to be ones that were as big as you and me. They used to eat animals as big as Brahmin. Now that's scary stuff. What? Ah, you're, you're, you're talking about big cats, right? Presumably they, they're, they're still are, like, but I guess not in America, like, because cause she's talking more about, like, lions and stuff? I think. Okay, whatever. I guess the lions and other big animals, predators, are carnivores, are kind of scary, I guess. Um, the kind I'm talking about is a small, cute animal, bigger than a rat, but smaller than a dog. Some are fluffy, like my cuddles, but others have short hair. Like, does she think I, not, I do not know what a cat is? Like a domestic cat? Kind of weird. Really? Mm, they like to be. Uh, they like to be pet like a dog does, but cats make this wonderful, relaxing sound when you pet them. Okay, this is weird. This whole. This whole story is weird because he, he, she's talking about an ordinary cat as if it was some kind of a mythical creature. Strange. Cuddles always used to help me get to sleep at night. I think of her every night when I try to go to sleep. Sounds nice. I, oh, I had her when I was a kid, but she disappeared. I didn't know what happened to her. I was too young. Bye. Well, food was awfully scarce back then. And people had to eat. It's quite sad, really. Oh, 
Okay, it actually is quite sad. So, so they ate their family pet because they were starving. What? People would hunt them because they were such easy prey. None of them are around anymore because of it. Ah, okay, okay, so that's a little less sad. So, so someone else killed their cat and ate them. Uh, it would be significantly more sad if they themselves were forced to eat their own cat because of starvation. But, but to be honest, I can understand that. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, cruelty to animals uh, is wrong and it, it always makes me sad whenever I hear about it. But I think if, you're, if you have a humanitarian crisis on your hand, you know, with people dying of starvation and no way to feed themselves, I think they are kind of justified in, in eating, for example, stray animals uh, or something. Although I guess this was a family pet, which is kind of different because you're killing someone's pet for, uh, you know, they, they didn't give you permission to, that, to do that. Uh, but I can understand that. I, I don't think it's necessarily right, but I do get that. Uh, those were the wild ones, but I'm sure that's what happened to mine. Now I know why mom always kept a close eye on her. I'm sorry. It makes me sad to think about it. Stacy told you a sweet story about her darling cat, Cuddles. You gained 200 experience points. Okay. Mm, spare some change for an out-of-work farmer? How about I buy you a hot meal? Well, actually, this is a very good option, and I appreciate the game for giving me it, because that's something I prefer to do whenever people, you know, homeless people, ask me for money. Uh, it pre they, they always say it's for food, uh, where many times it's for alcohol, so I prefer to offer to buy them literal food, like, you know, bread and uh, uh, bread and cheese or something, you know, something to eat, uh, rather than give them money. So it's good that this game gives me an option to do that, so let's propose that. How, buy a, how about I buy you a hot meal? Uh, I'm not really hungry now. Uh, how about if you give me the money and I'll get it later? Yeah, he's uh, he's clear, clearly drunk. You shyster. I'll bet you use the money you collect to buy chems, don't you? Ah, okay, so that's even worse, probably. Uh, although I, I guess technically speaking, um, alcohol is a drug. It's just so common uh, and widespread that we don't really think about it this way. Uh... What did you just say? Take that back. Whatever it means, it can't be good. Before you can reply, Carl falls forward and passes out. Okay. Hello there. My name is Mum and I run this place. I got the best food north of New Reno. You're not my mum. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a vault or someone named Vic? Well, now there's a vault city away east of here and a little north. And Vic, hmm... Let me think. I sure hope you know where Vic is. He's a trader. Trader Vic? Now does that ring a bell? Uh, yes, I think he's being held by Metzger for some reason. Who's Metzger and how do I find him? Metzger is the head of the local slavers guild. He's got all kinds of people locked up in his place. It's right up the street, just north of here. Thanks for the information. Um, what's there to do here in town? Well. I sure need someone to deliver a meat to sm a meal to Smithy. He's just west of here at the junkyard. Will you do it for me? I'll give you a free meal if you do. Sure, I don't mind. Thank you so much. I would do it myself, but there's nobody to watch the place while I'm gone. Here's Smithy's meal. If I don't have it brought to him, I'm sure he'd forget to eat. I'll bring it right over to him. Uh. Okay, but I had some more questions. Oh, okay. I, I guess I, I will do it right away, because the only other thing I have to explore in here uh, is the Slaver's Guild, and it seems quite big. Mm. So, I don't think I, I'm going to have time to do that in this episode, but I should have time to deliver Smithy's meal.
Mm, what can I do for you? I brought you your meal from Mums. Well, that was mighty, mighty darn kind of you. Thank you much, O oh compadre. Uh, here's a little something for your trouble. It'll come in handy in these parts. He hands you over a stim pack. Thanks, Smithy, no problem. See you around. Okay, and one of the gangs, they wanted to learn what Metzger is holding in the church. So let's report on that. So did you find what what's in there? Uh, uh, raw chemical compounds in large crates. That makes sense, actually. Thanks. Here's your money. Why is that? I've seen car caravans from Vault City come in, and then some of it get picked by caravans from New Reno. So, how does that make sense? New Reno is the chem capital around here. They have to get the raw materials to make their chems from somewhere, right? It seems like they are getting some, or all of it, from Vault City. Where's New Reno? Not sure exactly. Somewhere to the south, I think. I've never been there. I just see their caravan stop by once in a while. Once in a long while. Okay, thanks. You looking for some more quick cash? 50 bucks, easy money. Sure. Uh, I need you to check with Metzger to see if he, if he would be okay if Tyler and I settled some old matters. He'll understand what I mean. Why do you want me to ask? Because I don't want Tyler to see any of my people going into or out of Metzger's place. I don't want to tip our, to tip our hand. Okay, I'll see. And uh, to be honest, I'm going there anyway. If she's going to pay me 50 bucks just to relay a message, then that, that certainly seems worth it. Um. Okay, let's t t tell Bam that I've delivered the meal to Smithy. That was good work. You must have worked qu quite an appetite. I have a real treat for you as a reward. A combination plate of the best done food I have here, just for you. That sounds great. Let me add it. You have quite an appetite there. I love to see a healthy eater. What, uh, will that do it for you? <laughs> I want seconds. <laughs> Not a chance, mom. Uh, not really. I'm sorry. We just have a rat pie, rat loaf, and spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> could I get something without so much rat in it? You could have the spaghetti. It doesn't have the rat in it, just the sauce. Well, okay. I guess I have the spaghetti with rat sauce. Uh, I'll get, I'll get you a nice helping right away. Ten bucks for a rat. Okay, I am going to pay her. She's probably struggling, you know, as everyone here is. So sure, here's your money. Okay. Uh, more questions, maybe? Nope. Uh, I asked that already. So, the only thing I have left to do is to check out the Slaver's Guild. You see a slaver. You want to see the boss? Go right in. Go on in. Metzger the man to talk to, not me. Okay, but I'm going to do that next time because this episode has been long enough. So I'm going to save here and end it for now. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.